What's, What's good, good y'all? It's the Dumashets React, and, and we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. <laughs> This is our first location, and here's Matt. Sorry, what, man? What's happening? Welcome, bro. Wow, what an authentic and natural introduction and greeting. You already have a microphone on. I know. So convenient. <laughs> Take a look at this sign. Yeah. Adult novelties? What's that mean? Adult oh. store. It's an adult store? Yeah. What can you get here? Um, all sorts of adult novelties. <laughs> oh, snap. I thought we was going to eat. Oh, we're yeah. going to food focus here. We're going to have some corn pork. So it's put into a brine, a Cornish brine. It's been sorted so it can last longer and so that it can travel. Are we going to head in the kitchen and see yeah, how they make it? Head in the kitchen and see how the chef prepares it for us. All right, I am following Matt into the kitchen of our first location. I like the aesthetic of this place. This is how you know it's good. Like yeah, random plywood, sheet metal that they got from a hurricane. All of it kind of stapled together to make <laughs> a beautiful shack to cook food in. The step foot inside. Sunny. Hello, this sir. Is Ulrich, nice to meet you. Sonic, take a look at this. So it's actually the fat part and, I, and the lean part of it so that you get the crispy and the flavor in the fat and also the juiciness of that lean and we fry it up crisp. So he's already flavoring the oil. So this is something I haven't seen in a lot of different countries. I mainly have seen it here. So I didn't even realize this is something you could do is flavoring the oil before you mm. actually cook something in it. Yeah, he's got thyme in there and then scotch bonnets and garlic. Yep, here it goes. Okay. And you can hear it start to yeah, crack exactly. already. Oh yes, that smells so good. This is Dangerous. I like this guy. Very brave. No safety goggles. No face shield. Just going for it. Bare hands. Throwing the pork in. And it is getting real crispy. Brown stew chicken. Oh, that looks delicious. Are we eating that? Uh, no, we are. <laughs> no, we are? <laughs> no, we are. <laughs> uh, dumplings. Yams. Sweet potato. This one on green boiled bananas. Oh, my God. This kitchen smells incredible. All right, it's getting pretty intense in the kitchen. The pork is heating up. As he moves it around, it's literally popping out of there. Okay, I'm gonna add a nut to give it a color. There's a place in Jamaica called Anata Bay where this used to be exported a lot because it comes from our heritage with the Maroons where the Anata plant was used. So they would put it to make the faces get red when going into battle. So are we missing something here? Do we need this? Do we anato? Do? Yes, do we have to get us some anato? I don't know. Y'all y'all didn't tell us about the anato now. That look like another hit right there. Like mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with this one. Something we'll have to stack up, stock up on again. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm saying though. <laughs> And some all purpose. Everything is all natural. So there's no salt in the season. No salt in the season. Yeah. And finally, mm. some pimento powder. Ooh, scotch bonnet. And then lots of garlic. Oh, Chopped onions. How do you stop yourself yeah. from just scooping this into your mouth? <laughs> you have to have self control. Yeah. <laughs> I will try that out sometime. Not today. <laughs> Next tomato. Oh, you now we're really getting the Christmas colors going. Then thyme, cinnamon, and then bay leaves. <laughs> We have our first meal of the day right here. Four carbohydrates. Yeah, man. Is that normal? Food. We need food for the food. food. <laughs> it is called it food here. Food. Which of yes. these carbohydrates is your favorite? The dumpling. Okay, let's hit that first. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the one with the white flour a lot more. Because when we were at the uh, Rasta Village, theirs was made with wheat and it just yeah. had a really strong, weedy taste to it. It was oh, too yeah. healthy for me. You're not eating a dumpling for the health factor. No, we're eating a dumpling for the full factor. I'm going to try not all these, but I want to try the sweet potato. Mm. Oh, it's so naturally sweet, starchy. I love it. I'm going to just fork up some of these pork pieces. This is gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. Crazy. Game changer. <laughs> no, nothing will ever be the same. Oh, it's so good. One of Jamaica's favorite food. It's super savory. It's almost aromatic with all the different spices he put in there. You can taste it in your mouth, on your tongue, but also in your nose. I mean, seasoned from the oil comes straight up to the top when they put on the tomatoes and the green peppers. It's got some tomato, the sweet peppers. This dish looks fun to make. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> Let us know if y'all want to see us make this one. <laughs> Certainly more mild in flavor, both are contrast. And a little bit of acidity, but you need that contrast when you're eating that rich pork. Oh, oh, so good. So sweet. Oh, the human oh, behind the camera is pork, also not eating today. How you doing? Are you okay? Oh. They, how are you doing over there? They, them, just said no. Now y'all know Pause. we don't eat pork Pause. like that. We eat bacon, kind of, sometimes. But I but know I it's think, giving juices, though. I think for Jamaicans, we could do it. We could do it. Y'all know we only say, eat. Wife say we could do it. Yeah, we, we only eat 
pork like holidays you know when it has to go in the collard greens or things like that mm. like even on a regular day basis when i'm cooking cabbage i just stick to what i like this is simple sausage yeah. chicken yeah not chicken in the cabbage lord seafood seafood, not seafood. Never mind. Oh. Late night. Don't worry about it. Mm. But let us know. <laughs> I was going to ask, this is not what most people traveling to Jamaica are going to experience unless they really go after it. We are so out here, kind of in the middle of nowhere, yeah, well, at a rum bar where they spell adult novelties and then like a little shack with a kitchen in it. How'd you find this place? This is my pleasure in finding the real Jamaican food. Exactly what makes Jamaican food and is the people behind it and finding the people with the stories that give you variations of flavors through their cooking. The chef today, he's from the Maroon Town. He did some spices that I've never even seen in some corn pork until I came here mm, but I know right. that it tastes good and it's what keeps drawing me back here. So you've so, been here many times? I come here for the corn pork. Yeah I feel like the first 10 times you came here you didn't even realize they had food. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming for other reasons and you're like oh shoot they have good food too. So you know tell everybody bro. <laughs> Great start much more food to go let's do it. We are back in the kitchen for more. Now he's gonna take that same corn pork and mix it with ackee. Mm. Oh you don't know what ackee is? I was gonna say I'll explain it in voiceover. We don't really do a voiceover on the second channel. I guess look it up. Can you imagine well, right he's dumping then. the ackee on it now? This ackee has been boiled right. already. Oh, it's mushed up. You can't tell the consistency of it. We call this butter ackee. It looks like scrambled eggs. This is complete. Look at that. Here the brown stew chicken. Oh, that looks nice too. Junior, thank you. Check it out. This right here, same thing that we just had, except for he added the ackee to it, but it looks so different. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be smooth as butter. All right, let's try it out. Sure. Totally different flavor profile. Mm -hmm. It's rich, it's creamy. It gives it more of a, some kind of a nutty flavor yeah, to it almost. I guess. Yeah. You can eat this with a mound of rice or even some crackers. And if you <laughs> some crackers, I can put it between bread. But I you need something to that. kind of cut through all that heaviness. All that. Here's the chicken. Look at it come off the bone. Oh ho ho ho. Wow. How do you explain that? I mean, first the texture just hits you. It's super soft, juicy, falls off the bone. And still sweet. Yeah, a bit sweet, savory, and then just a thick stewed down sauce. Look, it just crumbles and opens up. It's not dark meat, but it's still so incredibly soft and tender. Oh man, we're about to the bone. Sweet. All right, so far dish one, I can't tell you the names of it, but uh, dish one and dish two are hand in hand with me. I cannot yeah. decide which one is probably the best or the most fulfilling. Mm -hmm. right? Number one, Our I like the presentation. Bone. You know, I'm a okay. person that I eat with my eyes first. Yeah. And I haven't had Aki yet, so I don't know. Mm. I don't know how Aki tastes. Okay. And belly. That is three dishes from one location. We have a few more things we want to see today. Definitely have some more stuff to check out. And that's coming up next after this commercial break. I hope there's a commercial. We need money. That is the end of this location for this video, but if you go to Matt's channel, Jamaica Food Boss, you are gonna see us eating pig tail soup. They're making it right now, it's in that pot, so go to his channel, watch his video to learn more about how they eat pigtails here in Jamaica. Now, on to the next location. And we are in traffic. Moving to our second location, Matt. Wagwan. Where are we going now? We are going to Top Road, somewhere that is, you have to pass it to come into Montego Bay, and this is just a place on the left that sells some wicked food. I'm told that we're gonna go see a Jamaican sandwich. Is this a Jamaican sandwich? Yeah, man, this is a Jamaican sandwich. Now, I didn't even okay. know Jamaicans ate sandwiches. Have we okay. even had bread? That's why I'm like, what? We did, we had breadfruit. Count it. KFC. <laughs> 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 what? Are we going to get, we're not going to get. Oh, but they did say that the KFC is hard. Yeah, y'all say y'all chicken KFC. is fire. Like, it, se it seems like everybody say their KFC is so good, and us here we like we don't like mm, KFC. Mm, no, we don't. <laughs> Not too much. Not too much. So we're gonna have to try it in y'all neck of the woods. We come to our second location, Matt. Where are we? We're at Sabrina's Kitchen and Cocktails. And here at Sabrina's Kitchen, she is selling a sandwich. This is like Jamaican sandwiches. sandwich now. Why this is Jamaican and not just a typical Subway sandwich. This is a cocoa bread. What is it's cocoa bread? Cocoa bread is bread that they used to make with coconut milk and also a huge amount oh, of butter. Oh, right, okay, let's take a quick look at what's inside. This is the cocoa bread. But when you peel that back, there's two layers here. The top bun, it's got some kind of a mayonnaise, I'm guessing, cheese, and then I'm guessing also pickled carrots and onions. And then this meat is fish? Fried filet fish. And what kind of fish is mm. that? It's just a fish. A fish. <laughs> it's, just it's just a fish, man. It's just a fish, man. All right, let's try it out. 
So this one with the fish on it. Wow, that's a great blend of flavors. The bread is so oh, soft. It's containing all the moisture of the meat. There's cheese, then there's like a tangy mayonnaise. It's almost like there's a tartar sauce between the escoviche. So that's what happens. And on. the mayonnaise, they create yeah. that tartar sauce with the escoviche, with the pickled onions and the pickled carrots. Mixed in with that mayonnaise, oh gosh, man, it just, as I say, the flavors unite in your mouth. Escoviche, what does that mean? It is escoviche from the Spanish variation of when it came down to Jamaica from the Spaniards. But we call it escovich, E-S-C-O-V-I-T-C-H. If this fish was just in there, it'd be a fried fish sandwich. But because the sauce is on it, with the pickled onions, the vinegar, and you also have some carrots as well, right. that's what creates the escovich. This is the first place I found it, and since I found it, I just gotta keep eating it. It is legitimately super satisfying. We just finished oh, our man. sandwiches, but I saw something, something really cool. It's a baby goat. There's a huge goat right here. <laughs> I've been told there's another route to the goats. I'm very determined to see these goats. I love goats. Wait, uh, like what? Go <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, guys, don't be afraid. I'm cool. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not Matt, I'm stupefied and confused. That is a residential apartment. That's an Airbnb residential apartment. That's where people live. This, somehow, goat farm. Are these going to be eaten? Oh, for sure they're going to be eaten. <laughs> so this is the origin Jeez. of goat curry? This, this is the origin of goat curry. You Hello. start it here, it ends there. It goes down. <laughs> oh or there, whichever kitchen. All right, so far, plate one and plate three. Mm, yeah. Those two. Yeah. None against plate two. That one's pressure, but I just decided as I was going through here, plate one and plate two. I mean mm -hmm. three. Now why I went all these years and didn't know that Jamaica got their own bread. Man, coconut bread. Mm -hmm. What bread do we usually um do they sell here? Um Hawaiian bread, don't they? Yeah, we like the Hawaiian bread. It's yeah. sweet bread. And it's pretty good as well, so I can mm -hmm. only imagine the coconut bread. Mm. Oh, they yeah, sell yeah, yeah. it. Man, I didn't see out. that on their website. We gotta when find we got out. those snacks. I didn't see that. We gotta do some more digging. For real. All right, we have just stumbled upon a fish fry before we get to our last location. Yeah. Sorry, what's your name? O'Neal. O'Neal? Yeah. Are you Irish? No, nah, I'm on bar Jamaica, man. I didn't know for sure. I just heard the last name. You're doing a fish fry? Yeah, we're cooking some fried fish right now, some blackjack. Blackjack? Yeah. It sounds good. It looks good. Yeah, man. Delicious, you know? How often are you doing a fish fry? We do it like once a week. We cook and eat just a regular thing, you know? Looks good. Yeah, man. Smells good. good. Yeah, man. All right, yeah. cheers. Nice to meet you. All right, bless up. Okay, we're headed to our next location, our final location for today. We're actually driving right past the airport. This is the airport where I'm going to be flying out tomorrow. And here, I'm told by Matt, they have some pretty good seafood. Oh, oh snap. God. I think this is about to hit number one. It's not a spot. This might be number one. Boom shakalaka. Hey, it's a little Jamaican there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Boom, go to that in my head. <laughs> this place is so obscure, I have no idea how you found this. This is a place that my mom, my uncles, my family used to visit. So we're right by the airport. It's fun, because every 15 minutes you get to see an airplane take off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a van. I um, airplane van. <laughs> <laughs> this is the octopus that's been cooked up. We were in the kitchen. She was chopping it up by hand. She mixed it with onion, garlic, sweet fun. pepper, and then a little bit of scotch bonnet. She wraps that all up, puts a little oil inside, throws it on the fire, and then this is the result right here. Steam roast sea cat. We don't even call it octopus. Really? Yeah, man. So come take a look at this plate. We have a breadfruit over here, fried, okay. yellow, like neon, bright, looking awesome. Over here, the octopus, you can see little tiny tentacles. And then I'm gonna get a big fork full right here. Oh. Pressure, pressure. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. It's a simple preparation, but super delicious. I didn't even see her drop salt. Where did the salt come from? The salt water. Is that right? No. <laughs> we just didn't see it. Oh, the scotch bonnet. You feel yeah. it. The pepper. It is warming me up from the inside. I feel it right here, the epicenter, and it's just radiating outwards. Woo! That's why you get piece of the fried breadfruit as well. Mm -hmm. The golden texture and the sweetness of it when it's fried will just take off a little bit of that heat of the scotch bonnet. Oh. Oh, I love bread food. So this is interesting is because I've had it in Indonesia and they breaded it and fried it. So it was like crunchy, crunchy. Yeah. This is fried, but it's still a little, a little soft. It's almost like French fries from McDonald's that have been hanging out in the bag for 10 minutes. We're taking another bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is it that you like so much about this dish? Especially of all the things they serve here, you wanted me to try this. Why? Because sea cat is something that you don't get a lot of in Jamaica, but when you get it, it's everybody's prized possession. So for you to find somewhere that serves it and sells it, it's a rarity. Okay. 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 
quick one. We didn't even hear it too long. Yeah, that was super fast. Yeah. All right. Three locations, multiple foods. I'm so full, I want to die. Please, that's in Jamaica. <laughs> right? <laughs> Get to fly my body to Minnesota and pay for the extra weight. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go to his channel. All right, y'all, make sure to check his channel out, bro. So, what you think, see? Dish one through four, rate them. One and three. One oh, and three. Oh. You got four dishes. <laughs> um, Number one, mm -hmm. I love the presentation of that one. I would give that a 10. Okay, okay, okay. Number two, I haven't tried Aki. So I don't I don't know how that tastes. I would give it a nine. Um, the third one, oh, that's number ten. That's ten. That's I'm it. confusing myself. You are. So what you need to do is which dish would you want first? Not rating the okay, plate I'll and do a, that. I'll do not that. rating the presentation. <laughs> Rate which dish would you find interesting to taste like? Mm, so you said number I would one? do I would do the sandwich number one. Okay. I would do the first meal number two. I would do number two number three. She the hockey, <laughs> the hockey, I will put that number thir number three, and then the octopus. I don't, I ain't messing with the octopus because octopus is just not something that we think about. Mm -mm. I have put that one as number four. Yeah. Um, I put the first dish that he had with all the veggies on top as number. Oh, I really like bread though. I like I like sandwiches. I yeah. know that coconut milk set uh, off with all the pork in it. I think I would do that one with number one. Yeah. And then I do the bread at number two. I do the hockey number three. Okay. And then I do the, the octopus. Octopus. <laughs> number four. Yeah, our son would love the octopus. Like, he has been asking for a while to eat octopus. And I'm like, boy, we don't mm. eat no octopus. Mm. And hey. if I buy this and I cook it for you, and then you don't like it, I just wasted somebody's food. See, reason being, because last time we let him experience something, he was like, hey, I just want to try this. He's mm. seen it in the store. It's like, go ahead, buy it. He bought it, took it home. He cooked it up. Took a bite, put the rest of the trash. And I was right. like, whoa, what happened? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Yeah. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.